What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best Roku TVs in the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices, and find out more information about these Roku TVs, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. Number 1 Roku Pro Series QLED The best Roku TV we've tested is the Roku Pro Series QLED it's a good TV overall with excellent contrast due to its local dimming feature that provides deep blacks in a dark room. The TV also has amazing SDR brightness, but its only decent reflection handling means it struggles with reducing reflections caused by direct sources of light, so you won't want to place a lamp across from the screen. HDR content is impactful in a darker or moderately lit room thanks to the TV's excellent HDR brightness and wide color gamut, leading to highlights and colors that pop out. Unfortunately, the TV isn't very accurate in SDR or HDR, so you'll need to get it calibrated if you care about the content creator's intent. It also has poor image processing. You'll want to watch the highest quality content possible on this TV. Another negative is the TV's narrow viewing angle, which limits its usefulness in a group setting. Still, the TV is packed with modern gaming features like HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on two ports capable of 4000 at 120Hz and VRR for a nearly tear-free gaming experience, meaning you can take advantage of your PS5 and Xbox Series X's capabilities. Additionally, the TV's low input lag means you get a very responsive gaming experience, and its great response time means there's minimal blur behind fast motion the Roku TV smart interface makes it very easy to find content to watch and the TV has numerous smart features like voice control. Number 2 Roku Plus Series QLED If you want a Roku TV but the Roku Pro Series QLED is a bit too pricey, the best mid-range Roku TV we've tested is the Roku Plus Series QLED overall. It's a decent TV with excellent contrast and an acceptable local dimming feature that helps improve the appearance of dark scenes. It has an amazing color gamut in HDR. Although its color volume is limited by the TV's adequate but unexceptional HDR peak brightness still, the TV looks vibrant enough for a pleasant HDR viewing experience. It gets bright enough to make some highlights stand out and tracks the PQEOTF properly, ensuring HDR content is displayed as the creator intended its reflection handling is good, so it's capable enough in a bright room, although it's at its best when the lights are dimmed. It supports Dolby Vision HDR and HDR10, so content looks its best regardless of source, unfortunately. The TV's image processing is poor, so watch high-quality 4000 content to get the best out of this TV. Overall, this TV is light on features. It has no motion features to help reduce stutter or persistence blur. It doesn't pass through advanced DTS audio formats, although it can pass through basic DTS 5.1 through ARC. It only removes 24p judder from external 24Hz sources, like DVD or Blu-ray players as for gaming, its refresh rate is limited to 60Hz, and it doesn't support VRR. Still, its input lag is extremely low, and its response time is great, so it's still a very good gaming TV. If you don't care about advanced features, its remote has a built-in microphone, letting you quickly search for content with your voice, and like other Roku TVs. Number 3 TCL 6 Series Roku TV for the last five years, the TCL 6 series has been our favorite TV for the money, and the latest version also known as the R655 series is no exception. It has an excellent image thanks to mini-LED tech and well-implemented full-array local dimming that helps it run circles around just about any other TV at this price. It improves upon the previous R635 series with improved gaming extras and a center mount stand to elevate the screen to make room for a soundbar and finally, the Roku TV operating system is our hands-down favorite. Note that in addition to the R635, which this TV replaces, other versions of the 6 series were released a couple of years ago and remain available. The R646 series uses the Google TV operating system, but otherwise has similar specifications to the R655 models. The R648 series has an 8K resolution and is significantly more expensive. Number 4 TCL4 series. The picture quality of the TCL 4 Series Roku TV was a step behind the Vizio V Series in our budget TV test, but the differences between the two are slight enough that you'd really have to have them set up side by side to notice anything at all. The 4 Series lacks the Dolby Vision, Bluetooth connectivity, and AMD FreeSync with a variable refresh rate, all of which the Vizio offers. 
The 4 Series advantage over the Vizio is that it comes with the excellent Roku Smart TV system built in that makes it a great choice for those looking for a one-stop smart TV solution without having to add an external streaming device. Note that TCL has been selling the 4 Series for the last few years with little to no change in image quality or features in our tests, although it has recently added some larger screen sizes, including an 85-inch option.